Meghan Markle, the one who used to be a duchess but now seems to think she's some Hollywood A-lister, well, she tried to weasel her way into becoming the face of L'Oreal 2024. Can you believe it? And guess what? L'Oreal gave her a swift and well-deserved reality check. Let's be blunt here. Meghan Markle had a hell of a year, and not in a good way. She's been plagued by one professional failure after another, and the public can't get enough of the drama. But instead of taking a hint, and maybe, I don't know, focusing on something she's good at, she's decided to shoot for the stars and become the face of a global beauty brand. Yeah, good luck with that. Now, in case you've been living under a rock, Meghan and Prince Harry are on a mission to revamp their public image and career trajectory. They want to distance themselves from the royals and embark on this so-called path of impactful projects and brand partnerships. But here's the kicker. Their grand plans have been met with skepticism and eye rolls from the sane part of the world. So let's talk about Meghan's little flirtation with L'Oreal. She was rumored to be in negotiations with the beauty powerhouse to seal the deal of a lifetime. But guess what, folks? Those negotiations never even got off the ground. L'Oreal slammed the door in her face faster than you can say overrated. You see, Meghan and Harry are desperately clinging to any brand endorsement they can get their hands on, trying to leverage their so-called global influence. But the reality is, the industry isn't exactly rolling out the red carpet for them. It's more like a doormat that says, wipe your feet and move along. And then there's the pesky public scrutiny and media microscope that's permanently fixed on them. They can't sneeze without it making headlines. But hey, that's the price of fame, right? And Meghan and Harry are nothing if not persistent. They'll plow through obstacles like a bull in a china shop, even if it means embarrassing themselves in the process. Now let's talk about the stakes involved here. Tom Bow some random guy who seems to have common sense knows that a loss for Meghan and Harry would be a disaster for their brand and products. The message it would send? These two aren't as fabulous as they think. And believe me, that message would be pretty darn negative. But here's the real kicker, folks. Meghan Markle is probably sitting at home, cutting out magazine images and making wishboards like it's the 90s. Yep, she's dreaming big, just like the rest of us except she thinks thought equals action and everything will magically come true. Newsflash, Megan, life doesn't work that way. Now, let's talk about the Waleses, a.k.a. Prince William and Kate Middleton. They posted an Instagram video montage from 2023, and it's like a dagger through the Sussex's hearts. The Waleses look regal, purposeful, and relevant. Catherine never has to try too hard to look fabulous, unlike some others we know. And what about the Sussexes? Well, if they ever had a reason to make a video, it would be a cringeworthy compilation of rental cars, Beyonce suits, whining, parking lot strolls, and awkward toddler-carrying moments. It would be a TMZ outtakes reel on steroids. No contest, folks. The Sussexes are trying way too hard to be something they're not, and it's painfully obvious. The royal family, on the other hand, just carries on with their business, completely unfazed by the Sussexes' antics. They've never played in the Sussexes' drama, they're too busy being the real deal. 